we're going to take a look at how we'd actually change the cutter on a router and um, put in a new router and actually set it up to run fairly safely. First things first, never connect the actual cord until you're ready to go. So always when you're making any sort of adjustment, ensure that the cord is actually removed from the socket. We have one spanner in the case of these particular routers, which is, which is very, very good. If I actually hold, you can see there's a button here. If I actually depress that button and turn, it will actually lock and that locks the sleeve. What we're then able to do is we're able to release that. Now it shouldn't be too tight because it is just enough. It usually has two grabs, so it'll loosen, then it seems to tighten again. Then what we're able to do is just back that off and the cutter should actually be removed fairly easily. It's like so. We're going to replace this with a cave piece. Make sure bit, make sure that that's actually down nice and secure. Like so still have my finger thumb there down on the button there making sure that it's pushed in and then I'm ready so that's been adjusted I'll just tweak that up there the adjustments in terms of the height what I need to do is I need to actually release this lever here and what that will allow me to do is actually travel up or down I can actually do that manually so I can actually adjust that if I wanted to actually plunge or I can manually just adjust the height up and down between that travel so what I'll do is I'll actually check to see at what depth I wanted to make that cut. Now I want it a little bit higher, so I'll back this adjustment knob here. I'll let that pop up a little bit. Fairly happy with that. When I'm happy, I'm actually going to lock that in place. So cutter's in place, nice and tight. Everything's locked in place. Have my material ready to go, and it's been secured with the G-clamp. Next thing I'll need, personal protection equipment, glasses and always earmuffs. Plug that in. When we're using it, we're trying to keep a nice firm hole and we're trying to actually have the, the, it running nice and level so we don't want it to rock around. So often we have some nice downward pressure on the left hand side. What I've also again to do is when I turn that on, it will kick. I don't start it on the job. So I'll start it away. Revolve, so I'll just let that sit just for a sec until that slows and stops, and there I've produced my code.